If you do this one thing, I can guarantee you not only will you not lose money on your investments, but you will actually make money. So be sure to catch the entire video, watch all the way till the end, and give this video a like. Welcome to my channel, everyone. My name is Michelle Hung from The Sassy Investor, your go-to platform for everything to do with personal finances, investing, and money mindset. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why your money won't go to zero when you invest in the stock markets and what is basically a sure thing for you to make money. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is why your money won't go to zero when you are investing in the stock markets. So first off, when you're investing in the stock markets, the stock markets are comprised of many, many companies across the board. Companies that you're very familiar with, okay? So we're talking about companies like Amazon, Google, Apple, okay? The foods that you eat at Loblaw, Starbucks, McDonald's, the cars that you drive, the gas that you use, everything that you are buying everything that you're paying for you are feeding profits to these companies okay so investing in the stock markets is essentially getting a lifelong discount on everything that you are already paying for so you might as well get some of it back and because the stock markets are comprised of all these companies the only way for you to lose money is if all of these companies go to zero at the same time not like one or two or three or even five companies going bankrupt that's fine that's all part of the business cycle companies will come and go it's if all of these companies go to zero that's when we'll have a cause for concern so something like maybe i don't know a zombie apocalypse or some global alien invasion where earth is doomed if that happens then None of what I'm saying will matter. We'll all have much bigger problems. So how do you prevent your money from going to zero? How do you invest in the stock markets as a whole? That's when you have to make sure your portfolio is diversified. You have many, many companies in your portfolio. Just in the case a few of them go to zero, then you'll be okay. And the easiest way to do that is to invest in either mutual funds or index funds, ETFs. So check out this video if you're not sure what these are. The stock markets have recovered from every recession, every depression, every pandemic, every election. Never in the history of the stock markets has it ever gone to zero. So don't worry about your portfolio going to zero. Yes, you'll see some paper losses, you'll see some declines, it's all part of the economic cycle. But if you hang in there and let your portfolio ride out these turbulent times, you'll be just fine. So what will guarantee you your portfolio to make money? That is when you hang on to your investments. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world, whether there's like a war in the Middle East, whether there's like some oil issues, whether there's like another global pandemic. So long as you are going to work, sleeping, eating, shelling out your wallet and buying stuff, companies make money. You as an investor will make money. And over time, economies grow, whether it's 2% or double digit increases in emerging countries, your portfolio will weather the storm. This is a chart for the S&P 500 index returns. Okay, the S&P 500 index is a list of the 500 largest publicly traded companies in the US. Okay, so you're gonna find companies like Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Tesla. Okay, they're definitely in here. So what this chart means is the probability of you making a return if you're trading in and out on a daily basis, the probability of you making a positive return is 54%. So it's pretty much a coin toss, okay? You might as well go to the casino. Now, if you leave it alone and you're you know, buying and selling, you're getting in and out of the markets on a quarterly basis, okay, the probability of you earning a positive return is around 68%, okay? So a little bit better. But as you can see, the longer that you hold your investments, okay, over a 10 year period, okay, any 10 year period between 1926 and 2015, and it goes up until now too, because the last six years, the markets have been on a tear. At any point, any 10 year period between 1926 and now, the probability of you earning a positive return is around 94%, okay? And if you hang on to it over a 20 year period, any 20 period, like, from 1926 to 1946, or from 2000 to 2020, the probability of you making a positive return is 100%.
Now, a lot of people are always asking me, what is the safest investment? So why I tell them you want safe, you invest in the stock markets, you diversify your portfolio and you hang on. That's how you are pretty much guaranteed to make a return on your investments. Because over time, companies will continue to grow their profits, whether they're growing it through raising their prices, acquiring more customers or releasing new products. Companies will always continue to find a way to grow their profits. And as investors of these companies, you will continue to grow your earnings as well. That's all for today. Give this video a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will see you later.